Hello folks. Welcome to IGIB. Today I'm going to introduce you not to the humans of IGIB but to a large community of little fellows that occupy every nook and corner of the campus. The bugs. So, welcome to the segment A Bug's Life in IGIB. I've always been interested in these little creatures around us and most of them are definitely creepy. But turns out many of them are not so revolting when you observe them up close. For example, this guy here, the red cotton stainer. As the name suggests, it's a serious pest of mainly cotton crops as they stain them yellow. They are also called red bugs and belong to the class of true bugs. After it hatches, it has mainly two stages, the nymph stage and the adult stage. Now let's move on to one of the most common species we all are familiar with honey bees This western honey bee or european honey bee is the most common species of this family They are one of the first domesticated insects and is the primary species maintained by beekeepers for both honey production and pollination activities The honeybee's social structure along with their behavior and communication methods are really interesting and I definitely urge you guys to look into it. Next inhabitant of the IGIB bug family is the blister beetle. I came across this guy as a potential pest on our campus and maybe the greatest enemy of our mali bhaiya. Want to know why? Yes, it feeds on the petals of all the lovely flowers like rose, hibiscus and also its leaves. Word of caution before you get too close to this beetle. As its name suggests, it secretes a poisonous chemical called cantharidin that causes blistering to the skin. Even though it's a defensive agent secreted by this beetle, it is also used in certain folk practices as medicine for wart removal. Our IJB campus is home to many more such inhabitants. Do you want to know more about them? Stay tuned.